hello my little munchkins my little cones and my sunflowers how are you on this fine saturday afternoon well i hope with you everything is copacetic and i hope you having a wonderful 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 weekend as for us in maryland we've been snowed in i know the roads are clear but for where i live i wish i could show you my my long driveway where it is snow and i just want me a piece of something and i'm like trying to get baby crone baby crone could we go out there something to eat? i don't know what i want to eat but i want to get something to eat but i don't i don't know anyway with that being said i'm glad i'm not that hungry are you that hungry baby crone no, not yet. The sun is setting soon. Oh, the sun is setting. So, okay. So, with that being said, hey, baby crone, this is getting dark. Is it okay? You just go? Yes, just continue. All right. So, anyway, I would like to thank a, a, a follower. What was her name, baby crone? Julianne Roberts. Julianne Roberts. Thank you so much for your generous gift. That that oh my god that came at a time where i was just feeling like what can i do what can i do you know because i'm always baby corn and i are definitely trying to figure out how we can i mean it's more me who worry about how to get it going than the baby over there but um and and when i got your generous gift i really felt inspired thank you Thank you, and may God bless you for that because you didn't have to do it, and you did, and we appreciate it, and it will definitely go to our channel. That's a promise. So with that being said, I wanted to talk about Fantasia. Fantasia, I don't know her name, Barino. I don't know her name, but I know she's the singer from American Idol. I don't know. She's right. What does she go by now? I don't know what she go by. I but do believe she still goes by Fantasia. She go by Fantasia? Well, I know she go by Fantasia. Uh -oh. I just want to know that she go by Barina. Uh, yeah, her last name is Barino. Right. And she is 39. Oh, she young. Well, anyway, word on the curb is her parents are worried. Her mother is worried about her that uh, she's gotten hooked up with Oprah and that uh, she's probably done signed in to be a part of the cabal the secret society and um and from what i understand this is, i don't know if it's true allegedly um i don't know if it's true but in any event if it is true that has me concerned because i've seen uh fantasia and i had mentioned to everyone her, when i seen her face she was unrecognizable to me put the picture just she, I just didn't. She looked good. She looked good, but she was unrecognizable. She was lighter. She just was recognizable, unrecognizable. And a lot of times, I don't know what these women are doing. I don't know what they're doing to their skin. I don't know if they're bleaching. I don't know. That's not my concern. Whatever make you happy. But I will say that when you're thinking about getting plastic surgery, you're young at 30 something years old doing this to your face. You're pulling skin and taking skin. I'm not saying that's what she's doing. I'm just saying, I don't know what she's doing. I'm just saying she's done something and whatever that is, I'm just putting this as, as, as a side note, because if you're doing all this at 39 or 40 or 45, Jesus, what are you going to have left when you're 50 and 55? No, when you're 60 and you really need it. You're not going to have no skin to pull. And you know, no matter how old you get, gravity pull you down. And anyway, a facelift lasts what? Anything you do, fillings last a couple of months, depending on how bad you need them. It could last a month. It could last however. But I, I do know that if you get a facelift, that'll last you about a good seven to eight years. So this is, this is, don't be careful. Keep cutting and carving and all. I'm not saying anything that she did anything like that. I'm just saying she looked different. She was lighter, different. Put the picture up. Or maybe that's the way money make you look. But whatever it is, she looked different. And so for her mother to have some kind of feeling that um, she's worried about her daughter, I understand. Because um, um, 
because from the way I understand it, Fantasia come from a very, very, very religious background. Her, her family are ministers. Her, I think her mother and her father, and her mother can sing also. So I can understand to see that. So what I want to do, I want to see if Fantasia is falling down the crack. Have, have Oprah got her grimy hands on her? Has Oprah broke her in and brought her in? And, and if your mom worried about you, that means you changed. Yes. That means when you're around your family, you ain't the same. If that's what's happening. Yes, baby girl? Yes. Fantasia is a cancer. Okay. Yes. So very watery, sensitive, protective. Knows how to nurture and care and give. I'm just trying to think, what should we make her? Okay. Should we pick a magnifying glass because we're looking in and checking in on her? Let's get the magnifying glass. Let's see. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Magnifying glass. So this is to see if Fantasia Let's see if Fantasia Where you at Fantasia? Fantasia Fantasia Where you at there? Wow Yeah there she is. Here you are. I was getting nervous. I was getting nervous right there. I was like, what's going on? So here we go. We got her. Magnifying. So what we're going to do, we want to go in and we want to look in. We want to go in and we want to look in deeply to see. And we got a rider. We got fish. So we know that whatever she's doing right now, she's making a lot of money. We got birds. We got owl. So we know that there's people watching her. We got more birds. Ooh. Oh, we got a compass. We have mice. Woo! More birds. And we have that. Okay. And I want to shuffle these up a little because I want to put one on the side. Wow. So what we have, we have fish, we have bird, we have bird, we have the rider, we, we have the looking glass. I mean, I'm the, the looking glass. I mean, we are the looking magnifying bird. glass. We have um, compass. compass. We have mice. We have birds. And we also have a stork. Cloud storm. I mean, um, what did I say? A stork. A stork. I meant to say storm cloud. All right. So let's see what we're going to pick out here. All right. So here, we put that on the side and we'll start off with here, the maze. Yes. It couldn't start fitting. What do you think, baby Carl? That's very fitting. Here we go. Let's take a look. You ready? You got you got your view. You yes. got the cards. You got what you want. Yes, baby you want me to call them off again, or you got it? I guess call them off one more time, please. Um, how you want me call? How you want me to call them like this? This, 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 this. Uh, this. past, present, future. Okay, here, past. We got fish. We have the writer, and we have mice. Present. We have birds, which are owls. And we have uh, the looking glass. I mean, you know, the magnifying glass. And we have the stork. Also, we have, is she pregnant? Mm -hmm. Does oh. she want any children? Um, on Okay, in the near future, we have birds, we have compass, and we have clouds. Okay, let's go. I'm ready. So I'm going to read in the past, present, and future. I'm just going to do it. I'm not even going to do anything else. I really want to get into this because this looks so juicy. So like I said, the mother is really concerned about her daughter because she wants to know. I'm sure this is a family concern. Has her daughter sold her soul? And when we say sell out, that means did you, did you give in 
and going to give your life to the industry. Because once you give your life to the industry, that means they take you into the parties. You get initiated, whatever that entails, but whatever it is, whatever they do, it goes and it mess with some part of your mind or open you up to a world where some people leave, some people don't want it, or whatever, but I think it changes you, whatever they do, but it is by your own free will. And her mother, who was a god fearing woman, I guess wanna make sure that her daughter's not hooked up in anything like this. So we're looking at the near, at the, um, at the past, but this is a recent past. This is not a far away past. I see that she, I see money. So I seen that she was offered a deal that was very, very lucrative for her. I think a rider came in. So there's information coming in back and forward. However, even though Fantasia make her money, she got to be careful because there are people out there eating the money she makes or I'm not saying it's her family. I'm not, I don't know who it is, but I know that I'm not going to say that. I'm, I'm going to leave that because it is a corner and it could be going in another direction. But the, the, the mice doesn't necessarily mean always eating, but it could be always somebody eating at eating at the friendship, always taking somebody in the midst of you that don't mean no good. They could be eating at the relationship. The more you put in, they're jealous. It could be all of that with mice, too, because they take. You understand? And even if I didn't have a house and a mice showed up, they're taking something. They're eating at something. Now, in the near future, what I mean, in the presence, I see birds. So I'm going to say this is because I see owls. And that means they're wise birds. So somebody's keeping an eye on her. Somebody's seeing that something is not right with her. So with the family, something is not right. I wonder if she's pregnant or do she want any more children. I'm not saying she is. I'm not saying she isn't. But I'm, I'm saying because we got the stork showed up. And in the near future, what I do see, I see a lot of talk, a lot of gossip, a lot of things. I think also that if I think she's going to lose her way a little bit. I see right here where the compass shows is dark. I think she's going to lose her way a little bit where she's going to need her family. And I also see clouds that in her recent future, she's going to go through a little something. Something, a little something. I don't know. It could be something with a march. It could be anything. I don't know. But that's all I'm doing right now. Baby clone, what do you have to say about that? Yes. And like and like I said, right now, it's she's like so many things are going on with Fantasia. It feels like Fantasia to me feels like she caught in a maze. Like in a maze and amazement. Like she just caught up in this. This seems like this is one of the biggest things she ever done. You know? Go ahead, baby clone, what you have to say. Yes, I was actually trying to figure out mm -hmm. if Fantasia is pregnant or not. Is she? According to last year, it says that she confirmed her pregnancy. So she had a baby? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Okay. Well, it, yeah, it just seems like the rumor in November of 2023, there was a new baby alert that they were saying. Well, I don't know, but I'm just asking, There's could it question. be a baby or something? But I definitely see that in her near future that there will be bumpiness. But let me go on before we start asking questions. And I see an anchor and I see for whatever's going on, no matter what, she's anchored in her family. She's anchored. So whatever this is or whatever they feel it is, whatever, I think Fantasia is going to be okay because she's anchored. Her faith is anchored in her family and in the Lord. I don't think that she's going to go too far with anything. And I think, and I can safely say, I don't think that her mother has to worry, maybe a little bit, because she is around people that will take from her, that will eat and get her there are people that is around her that don't have her best interest at heart. She's a commodity and they will be there just to make that money off of her. So let me put that out there like that. So baby Crone, you have a question. Yes. Baby Crone's question is, mm -hmm. was the color purple a money deal for Fantasia. A money deal? Of course it was a money deal. What do you mean? Yes, like, was it, like, the movie that was going to help 
bring calories. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, oh, that's a good one. Oh, I, I, I don't, you know what? I'm, I don't know. I'm gonna see. Well, it from what I'm gathering for the movie, it was supposed to resurrect her career. Okay. They picked her. They picked her, and this is the death card. But also, this is a death card, and but but also, this is the Grim Reaper. But this is somebody that is. I'm looking at it as somebody who maybe was that was doing good, but could maybe go to another level. That may was sleep, and now that woke that up for her. That that woke her up and put her more into acting if she wants to go that way. Did that make sense? Yes. Okay. Did. What else you want to know? Well, I'm actually curious because mm -hmm. that card is actually the four of pentacles. Yes, that's what I, I know. So I want to know. Excuse me. Is did Fantasia sell her soul for this movie? I think Fantasia did the play. I don't know. I don't know. I I'm, you know what? I don't know. I got I got lay out cards for that. I I don't know. I don't know. I, you know what I mean? I, I can't say. What was your question? Did she sell her soul for the movie? Yes. Did she sell her soul for the movie? Okay. One, here's cops. Two, another night. Another night. Did she sell her soul for the movie? See over here, this is a cup. So here it is. I see a cup. No. Because she didn't accept anything. I'm, 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 what I'm getting is just something she probably didn't, maybe, I'm getting a feeling like, from what I'm getting, it was something, it was it probably, it was okay, lucratively wise, but I think that she probably even just had to think if she wanted to do it, maybe. Okay. Like maybe it could have been some trepidation in doing it. Did she have the time or whatever? But it just seems like this is something that she just didn't jump into. But it's something that she considered that she thought in. She's in it. She's really in it. And it's something she thought about. So, no, I don't think. What was the question? Did she sell her soul? For no, this I don't think she sold her soul. I think it was an opportunity. And I think she played in it. I'm not for sure. But I, I, I think no. No. No, but I think she thought about it before she took the role. I think she thought about it. I think it wasn't, I don't think it was a quick yes. Okay. Let me say that. What else you'd like to know? Yes. My next question is. Because it is weird that the Grim Reaper would show up on a foundation, but she's making the money. She's making money. She's making money. So she ain't no poor woman. She's doing financially. She's making money, but she's careful about her money. Because there could be people coming up and trying to mess with her money, you know. Go ahead. Yeah, my next question is, how is Fantasia's health? She's good. Her health is good. Her health is good. As if it seemed like a victory, like maybe she had went through something, but she's good. Her health is good. You have something else? Um, how is her marriage? Okay. How is her marriage? How is Fantasia marriage? I see a strength card. So I'm going to believe that the strength is good. I think they're strong and so far they're good. It seems like they're good. They're hanging in there. And um, is she happy? Is Fantasia happy? Yeah, she's got the world at her hand right now. Yeah. I think she's got the world in her hand right now. I think this is her moment. I think this is her moment. Although the movie didn't do as good as they wanted it to do, I'm really not a musical, so I would have went to see it, to be honest with you. But when um, Tajay said what she said, I, I felt no need to support it because of Oprah. Yes. Because of Oprah. And, 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 when I found out it was a movie, I'm like, I'm glad I didn't commit myself. However, when it come on um, some station, I will look at it. But I don't like musicals, so it would have to be a special kind of like I like Dream Girls, but that's not something I could sit through again. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It has to be like 
like what love got to do with this, something like that. A Johnny Cash, those kind. I don't like, I, I don't like these. Um, so is is um Oprah Winfrey trying to pull to um is Oprah Winfrey trying to pull Fantasia into the cabal? Yes. Yes. She's buttering her up. Will Fantasia go? It's a lot on the table. It's money. It's money. Her life will change forever. She'll be a part of the Hollywood elite. And of course, we all know this comes with some sort of sacrifice. And if you ask me, this could be, I don't always think a sacrifice have to be a death. I don't think that. And I think that Oprah sacrificed her mother. I don't always think they have to be a death. Is Oprah Winfrey mother living? I don't think so. But you got to sacrifice something. Like if you're in a secret, when you're in a secret, you got, I got to have something. We all got to have this and we all got to have, we got to be in it together. No, her mom is not alive. Her mother isn't? No. Okay. Do you know how her mother died? Um, let's see. And um, yeah, this is something that's a lot of money and it's a lot that they offer her and it's a hard, this is going to be a hard no. This is going to be a hard no. Is Fantasia going to fall for it? Is Fantasia going to take it? Here it shows up again. Here it is. It's like the cards are showing like, yes, I don't think she's going to accept it. I, I don't. And if she does, she's going to have a terrible fall. A terrible fall from grace. If she takes it, she'll have a terrible fall. But I'm going to believe that she's not going to take it at all. I'm going to believe that. You have another question? No, I actually think we answered them all. So from what I gathered, should her parents be afraid from what I'm gathering? Yes. She's being tempted. She's with the Grand Wizard herself, Oprah. And Oprah know how to get you in. Oprah know how to rub you, dub you. Oprah know how to talk. Oprah know how to get in their head like a snake, like a slithering snake. And everybody who Oprah done cast or brought in, a Oprah done brought them in. And I'm just saying, yes, I think Oprah have a very, very strong, very strong um personality hold on her on their daughter like to open her mind up okay to she's got she's powerful oprah's very powerful for very alluring to very alluring very to to get her and to show her to make her want that life to get bigger and bigger and bigger and yes this is what oprah's offering her will she take it i'm saying no but if she does she will have a big fall so that's all I have. I hope this was good. Was it good? Yes, so it her was. so at the end of the day, do her family has things to be worried? Yes, because this night, no matter how it does in the movie, it is definitely going to have a big thing. So we're going to see because I'm seeing some. I'm, I'm seeing some kind of feedback. I'm seeing some kind of trouble or some kind of down part or or some kind of trouble or something negative i see that's going to happen with fantasia i don't know if it's going to be with the company i don't know if it's going to be with the movie i don't know if it's going to affect them i don't know what it is but i definitely see it i definitely see it but i do know that no matter what she's going to be okay because she's anchored and with that being said, I definitely see her going through something within the next six months or so, whatever that is. I don't know if it's going to be a sadness or something. I don't know if it's going to be something with the movie. I, I don't know. But I definitely see something that is going to be a disappointment or an illusion or something that just come down. You have to, do I, do, yeah. Say what I'm saying. That 
something's on the horizon for Fantasia, but whatever it is, she'll pull through. She's going to pull through it, but it's a humbling or something pulling down or something needs to be knocked over or, or I'm getting, you know how sometimes you have an illusion or you have this grand idea of something and then you, you, you all sight and it don't pan out to be, and you come down from it and you feel so bad and depressed about it, that's what I see. Okay. And I see it here too. And I definitely see a lot of people are talking and gossiping and everything about it, about, about her. But she's in the know and she's doing, you know, other than that, she's doing her. But so far, this was all about what does her family think? I think her family have a reason to be worried. But at the end of the day, your fam her family is a praying family and her fam and she's anchored. And with that, Fantasia will be okay in the end, no matter what it is. And I leave you with that. And with that being said, you have a glorious weekend until we meet again. Sunflowers. <laughs>